It's a balancing act. It's always a balancing act. Look, when it comes down to it, I'm not against journaling. I don't hate journaling. I just don't like doing it. <laughs> I feel like for somebody whose brain works a million miles an hour and I can't write as fast as my brain is moving, and for somebody that's got terrible, terrible RSI, it just, it just doesn't work for me. And I know everyone says it's like, get it out on paper, then it's no longer in your head. I just get frustrated in the process of it. I used to be a voice, voice memo person. I actually had a friend that I used to leave voice notes for and then she'd respond. And that was great. That worked really well, but I don't have that anymore. And until I finally booked myself a GP appointment so that I can go and get some help, which requires effort, but I'm not there right now. And they're closed right now, so I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try this. <laughs> so basically, as a rundown, not doing so well. And I know I sound real peppy now, but I'm somebody who's just, I'm not comfortable filming unless I'm doing average to okay. Anything below that, I just feel like it's, I just don't want to do that. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. And so I'm not going to do it. Like I'm not one of those people that I think will ever video myself crying or like, I don't know if some people like doing it and they find it helps and they find it, feel like it, I don't know, like makes them feel less alone. I, I don't know why people do it, but if they do it, that's cool. That that's what works for them. I am not going to be doing that, but I need to do something because I'm just spiraling at the moment. I'm doing better than I was last night. I was about a one out of 10, maybe be a bit generous and go 1.5 out of 10. This morning I was about a three and I just watched a whole bunch of TV and tried to get out of my head and then I started to feel a bit better so I tidied up the house a little bit which I will show you because I did not film it beforehand obviously based on the spiel I just had but I need to do something else I feel like yeah <laughs> okay so basically my way of getting out of a depressive episode when I don't have medication and when I don't have anything else to do because I can't journal is to have a to-do list which I know sounds kind of counterproductive because most of my stress and most of my triggers come from feeling incredibly overwhelmed and feeling like I'm not hitting my deadlines or not hitting my targets for the day and this whole week I just haven't written a to-do list because it just felt like too much but Basically, I need to have a to-do list to try and get out of this because it's, I just need to do something. And we're gonna go into my notes app. Okay, there's gonna be like absolutely no order to this because I don't want an order, but I need to vacuum because I find that when I'm really, really not coping, I can't do anything, I can't tidy, I can't clean, which is stupid because the untidiness is what perpetuates the messy brain. So as soon as I start to feel a little bit okay, I feel like I need to tidy up my whole area so that the outside is at least tidy enough that my inside, my brain, can start to feel a little bit less cluttered. So I did a big tidy up this morning. I tidied up my desk. I switched over the winter clothing to summer clothing finally because it's getting to the point where I can just wear a jumper over a t-shirt rather than needing to have like my full woolen outfit thing and I haven't put that clothing away but I need to do that put clothing away I'm also that kind of person that I put things on a to-do list that I've already done so I can take it off and feel like I've accomplished something so shower that's a must and put on normal clothing I'm a sucker for gym gear and for like slacks and track pants and all that but I do find it contributes to my inability to function so I've put on a t-shirt I've put on some jean shorts like what is this jean shorts put them on put on some normal clothing I have crusty as uh, nail polish that needs to come off there we go I have crusty as nail polish that needs to come off so 
We're gonna take some pride in ourselves and we're going to take off nail polish. And I need to check the mail. Go for a walk. Grocery shop, which is gonna be minimal. We're gonna be honest here. I wouldn't mind finishing a voice over for New York City vlog. Because I finished it and everything and I intended to do the voiceover on Tuesday and then this happened. So that didn't happen. And I'm wondering if that is all I should put on there for now so that I don't get overwhelmed that my list is too long. But it's all like super easy, super basic stuff. It should help us get out of a rut and hopefully make us feel a bit better. I do also actually need to cook slash plan dinner because it's Friday night and I had intended to do salmon tonight but we had fish last night. I'm not a big fish person and I didn't really enjoy it and so I want to do something else. But it is Friday night and normally on Friday nights we do something exciting and we, I don't know, do something special. So I need to think of what we can do That'll be, yeah, I don't know, make me feel good because good food always makes me feel good. So I'll need to find a recipe that I can follow and then buy the ingredients for. But for the time being, I also need to figure out breakfast. Plan breakfast tomorrow. I think that's all I'm going to put on here. I don't want to complicate it too much. So I have showered and put on normal clothing. That's exciting. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, well, I'm going to stop there. And I guess we just... We get started. Let's do this. Let's get out of this funky ass mindset so that tomorrow is a better day and I can go out and we can, I don't know, have a nice breakfast and then go to Kaufland, maybe buy some groceries from Kaufland because it's cheaper and maybe go to Orbi and buy some more plants because plants are cool and do something that will make me feel better. As a slight update, I, on TikTok, have been filming my cross stitch because it's one thing that I've been doing to get away from screens and to get away from reading when my brain is feeling too cluttered or, yeah, all the stuff that I normally do when I'm feeling incredibly overwhelmed, I can't really do anymore. So, I've been cross stitching and I finished it yesterday and I think it looks really cute. My problem is now that it's done, I don't have another one to do. So I'm trying to find alternatives, and uh, at the moment all I've got is a to-do list, so. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. We will get through this. We will, it was a blue sky and it's turning to gray, but anyway, it's fine. We'll get through this. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna put sunglasses on so nobody sees, and we're gonna, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of so I have done some clothing. I've ticked off, I think, two two extra things off my list. I was going to say four, but two of those I'd already done before even starting the video. But I'm going to go to the shops now. I wasn't going to do that just yet, but I... Oh, actually, I planned dinner. I can't cook dinner, but I planned breakfast as well. Basically, I wasn't going to do that just now. I was going to vacuum and do a whole bunch more stuff, but... I have decided because it's Friday and we've got a bit more time and I just I know that following a recipe and all that brings me a lot of like de-stress time and I really enjoy doing that so I wanted to do like a I don't know like a nicer dinner because it's Friday night and so I've planned out we're gonna do like a beef stew with mashed potato and so I need to go pick up that stuff because that's gonna need like an hour and a half I think on the stove so it's semi slow cooks and then i'm gonna make dessert and we don't usually make dessert we're not a big dessert family in the sense of 
I'm obsessed with dessert and I feel like every time I eat something I need to have something sweet afterwards but we normally get like chocolate and I'll have like a piece of chocolate or Luke will have a like a chocolate protein desserty thing it's kind of like a chocolate mousse but not quite it's a big thing here I've never seen it in New Zealand before but we just normally do like super simple and I've decided we're gonna go different today we're actually gonna do something we're gonna make an effort and hopefully baking which is normally my like de-stressor therapy will help get me into a good space i do find that it's just something to follow and then i can enjoy it afterwards it's not yeah it's a lot easier than trying to produce something like i don't know when i'm trying to write for work or whatever obviously that's completely different because it's work but it just does feel like you don't have to think, you don't have to create, you literally just do exactly what the recipe says. And it turns out great, generally. I have made some big fails before, but that's fine. Anyway, that is my plan. So that means that I need to go for a walk and leave the apartment, which was honestly my biggest worry of today was leaving. But I know that getting outside and breathing some fresh air and, and going for a walk will really help. Actually in Germany, they have this thing called Luften, and normally it's the idea of you air the room so that the air in the room isn't stale and like I think it's every two hours or something you open the windows for 15 minutes. Even in the middle of winter it's something that you do just to like clear the CO2 and just get some fresh air in the room and it's a very cool thing and I mean I don't know if this is a thing or not so if you're German and you're watching this please let me know. But Luke and I have also taken the approach of like lifting yourself and not just the room as in get out of the apartment go for a walk have some fresh air and it makes such a difference and i know that's something that works for me i just find it really hard when i'm like in the depths of a depressive episode to want to go outside and to want to be around people or have the potential of bumping into somebody that i know or even just like going outside I find really really difficult and so the fact that I'm feeling a little bit better now I just want to make the most of it and hopefully getting out doing a walk will um boost the mood hi it is a little long while later if I'm honest I think I finished this off with going to the supermarket and it didn't go so well I don't know, I think I just wasn't ready to leave the house yet in my state of mind and it ended up slumping me quite badly but a lot has happened between then and now in fact I think like two weeks worth of stuff maybe a bit longer I can't remember but yeah what I was doing I think was working and it was helping and then I decided to go to the supermarket and that didn't help and it just set me off spiraling again but long story short, I have, I don't know, I've taken a few changes recently in just like my habits and lifestyle and yeah, I, I've made some bigger changes outside of this that have helped and I'm feeling a lot better now, which is good. But I thought as a way to close off this video rather than just leaving it hanging, is I was trying to brainstorm stuff that normally makes me happy and things that kind of get me out of a slump and one of them was potting plants <laughs> which sounds really stupid but it's just I don't know it's nice and calming and it's a lot of fun and it's something that I've been meaning to do for a while so I'm just gonna do it so we're gonna close this off with me potting my plants and we basically have one plant that needs to be separated because we put two in one pot and now they're just too big. And then I have some plants actually like right there that are from my office that I brought back that are now too big for the pots that they're in. And I'm going to repot those and I'm going to listen to some music and it's going to be calming and chill and relaxing. And yeah, I think that's just going to be how I close this off. So. So I know this was kind of like a random, I don't want to say fail video, but it definitely, it's definitely stuff that works for me, generally. I was just in a bit of a 
weird space when I started this video but I didn't want it to go to waste because I feel like a lot of that stuff was really helpful and I still wanted to put it out there so I hope that some of the stuff might have helped you or given you some ideas on what to do and if not then just repot a plant because it's always fun and it's always great I've also gone for a slight change I'm bringing back the side part I've decided skinny jeans and side parts are always put down on by millennials saying that it's just old school and we shouldn't go back there but I just like it you know I feel like it works so I don't know if you feel the same but I'm rocking it at the moment and I will stop rambling there because you don't need to hear more of that but thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're enjoying this new schedule that I've been doing it's been a lot more I don't know I feel like having a schedule that I can pretty easily stick to and stuff that's not too difficult to do has been working really well and I've been enjoying it so I hope that you've been enjoying the regularity a bit more and yeah I can now honestly say that there will be a video very soon because I've been pretty good at uploading anyway thank you for watching and I hope that this video was good and that you enjoyed it and I will see you with another video very soon bye Will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke Try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves If we ignore the state of my desk, this is what we're working with now. It's quite exciting.